Hi and good day. I want to teach you something that you should never do when it comes down to lifting. Because if you do it the wrong way, you're going to pay the price. Maybe not now, but maybe for your whole future. So I want to just give you some basic anatomy. Here's a thoracic spine here, cervical neck, thoracic lower lumbar. It should have a normal S shaped curve inwards on the neck, outwards on the mid back, inwards on the lower back. But if you look between the vertebrae, you have discs. The discs are there to cushion the vertebrae. And these little yellow things, what we call spinal nerves, these are the nerves that come off the spinal cord. They're actually protected in the casing of the spinal bones. So when we alter the, the, the curves of the, of the back and we put too much stress on them, we can actually hurt the disc. We can herniate the disc, tear the disc, cause bulging, cause irritation on a nerve, and permanently cause a problem the rest of our life. And the most important thing that I want you to understand is that when it comes to lifting, we have two thirds of our upper body weight up here. So if we lift, we always teach you to stick the butt out, arch the back. Now, when it comes to lifting, you always want to get close to what you're lifting. So if you're lifting out farther away, picking up something, don't be surprised if you get up and you hurt your, your lower back. But most important, one thing you should never do is when you lift an object, Okay, you never want to lift over from the back. You always want to bend the knees, get close to the object. But one thing we never want to do is we never want to twist our back when we're lifting the object. You always want to face that object. Be directly with that object. Don't lift it from the side or the other side. And if you lift it, do not lift and twist as if you're putting it down somewhere. You got to lift it with the knees, keep the back straight, lift it up. And it should stay close to the body. This is how it should pivot, just like this, and then drop it. Okay, if you're gonna drop it, you're gonna go down with the knees. But the worst thing you could ever do is twist the back because the fibers, the fibers of the disc, the, the annular fibers, that's what you're sharing. Once you weaken those annular fibers by sharing it, by rotating it, when those fibers get weak, the nucleus pulposus, which is the gel-like substance that goes in the middle of the disc, when you bend from side to side, it moves around, forward and backward, it moves around. But when those outside fibers are sheared and torn, that nucleus can protrude through, causing it to herniate and compressing on the nerve. So I hope it gives you a little bit of important information that you can live by to, to, to save those discs from having any significant degenerative changes or any significant wear and tear, just like a bald tire. You can't just Fix a ball tire, you have to put a whole new tire in. But guess what? You can't do that with a disc. Leave your questions below. Share this video. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. So, we can, can, so you can continue to get our, uh, our wonderful videos that we're going to continue to share with our community. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.